making the decision to stay or go, and now you're a captain. What was that like, getting that news? Um, for me, it's just nothing short of a blessing, you know? I mean, it just shows you that not giving up, I mean, sometimes leads to good things, you know? So, I mean, I just wanted that to be a story and inspiration to other people that, I mean, you, you might be going through some tough times. Don't give up, fight through and see what, what it has for you at the end of it. How'd your family react to it? Oh, my mom loved it. I mean, as y'all can see from last year when she found out that I was going to be starting this stuff, she went crazy. So, I mean, she loves this stuff. So, I mean, it was a good moment for her and my family as well. As you've gone through this past month and some of the things that have happened around the program, do you draw from your past some of the things you've overcome and kind of be in another challenge here? Um, I mean, I, I guess kind of, you know. I mean, basically just trying to help other guys as well get through some things, you know. I guess I can draw on it a little bit since I've been through some some tough things in my life. How much responsibility do you personally feel being captain to lead this team to maybe help the leadership void when your head coach isn't around? Um, I don't feel like I have to take all the stress on myself because I have other captains as well, other guys as leaders that may not be captains, you know. So, I mean, I feel like I'm going to have a big role, but I don't feel like I have to take on the biggest role of, of everybody because I have a whole group of guys that, that's able to do the same thing. Your wide receiver room might have the most better in returning talent. Yeah, that's old. <laughs> how, how are you guys better than, than last year? Um, I don't know. I just, we might be a little more attention to detail, you know. Um, I think the biggest thing, you see more guys growing up with uh, more time under their belt from last year and going through the spring and the summer as well. So I think that's the biggest thing. Um, more guys have come along from growing up. You've obviously got some young guys in that room. How have they come along and how do you kind of bring them up for a I think they just went through their toughest time, you know, um, with camp, you know, just trying to fight through that last week to get to this week. Um, but um, they're coming along as well, you know. Um, Chris Olave is playing really well right now. I mean, Jalen Gill and all the um, other younger guys are just coming along. Even the Walker is playing really well right now. Johnny, what stood out about Olave? I think people were surprised to see him on the depth chart behind you guys. Um, I don't know. The guy just, I think he was better than me, Paris, and Terry just coming in right away. I mean, I haven't seen a guy come in like that yet. Uh, Benji had it a little bit in the play. Chris was a dude that turned everybody in. The whole team was like, man, Chris got to get a strike on. You heard that every day. So, from day one, he jumped in. You can tell that he play. What's his skill set? What do you think he can do for you guys when he's given that top charge? I think he can do everything. I mean, he can go over top, catch on the meat ball, take, take it to the house. I mean, he's all around with zero. I mean, he's a pretty good, pretty good young guy. You returning kicks and punts this year? Uh, yeah, kick and turns. You looking forward to that? Yeah. Did you approach, uh, I guess, Coach Johnson about that, or did he come to you? Or? Uh, no, they came to me. You know, so I think it was, I took a rep one day, and uh, they came to me and talked to me about it. When was the last kick return you had? Ooh, high school, <laughs> about <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> Have you ever taken one to the house? Uh, no, it's been a while. It's been close. Has it been uh, you and Demario back deep on the kickoff returns? Yeah, me and Demario. CJ is the off returner, Sneed. Johnny, what did you think of Dwayne Haskins' camp just overall? What I think it was a really, really good camp. Uh, you see him mature. I mean, he makes some of those throws that are just crazy. I mean, was one day he, he threw a pass to Austin, but he was looking this way and threw it that way. So, I mean, the guy, he has the talent. I mean, he's just ready to unleash it. So, what, what, what changes for the offense? I'm not saying Dwayne has to look one way and throw the other all the time, but when a guy is willing to take chances just in general, what does that do for the offense? I think it gives everyone else a lot more confidence in it. I mean, I couldn't imagine just sitting in the pocket waiting for a guy like Chase Young with Nick Bosa to hit you in the mouth. So, I mean, it just gives us a uh, greater respect. For what, what has it been like learning from Brian Hartline as your new wide receivers coach? Um, I don't think it's been nothing new because we're learning from him all spring. Last year, so um, I don't think it's nothing really new. I mean, he's just, he, I think it's a different approach for him. You know just having that guy who's played in the NFL, is that something that you guys, I mean, you're, you're on the doorstep of it maybe next year. Is that something you kind of look up to as this is a guy who's been there? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we have a wall in our room with all the guys that used to play here. So, I mean, even Antonio was back in the summer a little bit last spring. So, um, there's definitely some guys you look at and I mean, they inspire you because they've been there. I asked Terry this question earlier. Um, take me back to the first meeting when, after Brian was the full, the interim receivers coach. You know, obviously you've, you've been around the program for a couple of years. 
How was that mean? What was that meeting like? And what was his message to you guys that first meeting? Uh, the meeting was the same. The only thing that really changed. I mean, I think the biggest thing that changed is his attitude towards us because now he's the, he was the head guy of the room. But um, you know, nothing really changed. He just told us some expectations he expected. Um, anything different with the way he's approached things or any different ta any different things he's brought up with you guys, his points of emphasis in practice that have stood out? Um, I mean, it's the same thing, you know, not a real big difference. Tony, I, I was asking Terry McLaurin a while ago about, I asked Greg Schiano, uh, have you ever been on a team with three wide receivers as captains? Because, <laughs> you know, you guys are known for being out on the edge, so to speak. But, uh, and Terry said, You'll be, he'll be disappointed if he, if he comes back here in five years and there aren't more wide receivers as captains. How far have you seen that group grow from the clown show, you know, just before you got here to now um, I think three members as captains? I think the group has grown. Like, it's, it's come a long way, you know. Uh, remember a few years ago, Coach Mick was saying guys like Terry and Paris are going to change the room, you know, and uh, surely they did. You know? So the room has come really far. And, I mean, I think we set the expectation for guys to come out to us, and that's probably why he said he expected the same thing once we leave because we set something in expect everybody to meet it. Was this y'all's biggest challenge? Was this was this preseason y'all's biggest challenge for all kinds of reasons? What is that? Well I mean you lost your coach, you know, you lost your head coach. I mean how how big a challenge was this for your group? Um I, I think it's a big challenge because we're the older guys on the on the team, you know, but um, I think everybody looks to us. So I mean it wasn't that hard to get anybody to come along because they actually they listen to us. We're not like some fake leaders that's out there, you know, so it was a big big challenge against big expectations, but it was easy because you know, everyone kind of like attracted to us, I guess. That's it.